इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इन सेल प्रोग्रामिंग इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इन सेल प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ एवरी सेल प्रोग्राम रिक्वायर्स सम इनपुट फ्रॉम यूजर ओके एट द सेम टाइम सो एट सेम एट द सेम टाइम इट रिक्वायर्स आउटपुट आल्सो ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड इन द लाइन एक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी हैव वन कमेंड कॉल्ड रीड कमेंड सो दिस इज सेम एज स्कैन इफ इन सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस रीड फॉलोड बाय द वेरिएबल नेम रीड फॉलोड बाय वेरिएबल नेम नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू टेक ए वैल्यू फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड ओके टेक ए वैल्यू फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड एग्जाम्पल रीड read and variable name suppose the variable name is num number means the number given by user will be stored in num variable okay this is for input so for processing for our processing any kind of mathematical operations you can use so finally to display output on the monitor and we have another command called echo command echo and message so we have we are going to have three types of echo commands so those three types of echo commands we are going to discuss in the forthcoming video sessions so after that just you remember a simple version of echo a simple version of echo is echo message message is enter a number without any double quotes enter a number okay now followed by read command read num that means the number given by you will be stored in the variable called num echo enter a number and read num okay so the after completion of this input process uh, yes, the input process you can perform any kind of processing finally so if you want to display again the number given by user use echo num this is about input and output commands in linux shell programming means the main command you have to remember is what read command so this is especially for reading input from keyboard and echo command again this is for displaying output on the monitor <coughs> so after completion of these input and output so here we are going to discuss so how to perform decision making in shell programming decision making so like in c c++ java languages in shell program also we can make use of if condition for making decisions for making decisions so but the usage format will be uh, somewhat different okay so how the usage format i will explain here so using decision making statements we can perform any kind of uh, uh, branching we can we can perform any kind of uh, conditional execution means uh, depending upon one uh, criteria we are going to perform we are going to execute a set of statement means uh, it can be a singular multiple statements okay so it is exact the mechanism the logical flow it is exactly same as cc++ java but the command syntaxes are somewhat different okay so how the command syntax are different how to make decisions so how many forms of decision making statements are there just i will discuss so in order to make decisions in uh, linux operating system we have one uh, statement called that is called as if condition if condition so if condition is having three formats first one is simple if simple if so the simple the simple if format is if within square brackets in c c++ there we we use round brackets there we use square brackets square brackets after giving a square after giving square brackets give one space and write condition condition and you give one more space like this and start writing then so then is not required in c c++ java but in linux operating system we require what then then the statements to be processed statements to be processed so finally you have to use fi fi terminator so this is a terminator for if condition means if condition says that whether the block is having corresponding fi or not so if the block is having fi then only it satisfies otherwise error message will be displayed okay if condition then statements 
So after statements, you have to compel, you have to compulsory write F I. So F I is the terminator for if condition. This is the same as closing curly bracket of C C plus <laughs> plus. So this is a simple if. So when coming to if and else, how the format will be? Just I will discuss. If and else. If else. So if and else will be like this. If else, else if. Otherwise, we don't use else if, if condition, condition must be written within square brackets only, not round brackets. Then, statements, statements and else statements. You can have any number of statements. Finally, you give F I. Now, this is related with this one. So, if the first condition is satisfied, what happens here immediately? The block associated with the set of statements are executed. Otherwise, control comes to else block. In the else block, the associated, associated set of statements are executed. So, this is a second kind of decision making, so which is called as if and else. So this is second format and the third format will be like this. Third format is, this is third format is if and else if or if else ladder. If else if ladder. We are going to make use of like this. If condition then then is a key one it is must then statements next after this you have to write elif this is not else if elif l if e l i f this is same as else if in c and c plus plus elif then Statements or statement next elif then statements finally write else statements next. At the end, just you have to write F I. See, this is condition number one. So, if condition number one is evaluated, condition that means if test one is evaluated, test one is true, then what happens here? The first set of statements are executed and the rest part is ignored. Okay. Suppose here this condition condition one is false, then control comes to this condition two. Condition two. So when condition one is false, condition two will Tested. So when condition 2 will be tested and the condition 2 is uh, true, then the associated, the underlying statements are executed here. And the control is going to ignore this part and rest of the part. And suppose condition 1 is false, condition 2 is false, control comes to this part here also. Condi this is condition number 3. This is condition number 3. Okay, so in such case, means if condition 3 is tested and if it is true, what happens here? Condition 1 is ignored, condition 2 is ignored, condition 3 statements are executed and rest part is ignored. And suppose condition 1 is false, condition 2 is false, condition 3 is also false. Okay, false, everything is false up to condition 3. Then simply control is going to execute else part of the if, if else ladder. Okay, so this is a flow of execution. So, finally at the end, you have to add which one? FI keyword. FI keyword is a mandatory. So, this is simple if, and now this is if else, and now this is if else if ladder. Okay, like this we can have three types of versions in decision making or if conditions flowers. Okay, now based on this, just we are going to do some programming. Just to have a look. I will read two numbers from uh, user keyboard. And uh, I will print big, the biggest of two. The biggest of two numbers I will print. 
okay it is very simple program and if else if else okay so now we are in which mode command mode just uh, you enter into insert mode to enter into insert mode just you press i clear this is a clear is a command for clearing the screen and you display message to the user that echo enter first number and to read the number just use read command as we have discussed read n1 and display another message echo enter second number read n2 and you make a decision if the format is like this dollar if square square bracket dollar n1 is greater than so the for in linux operating system we have to use minus gt symbol i will explain where after completion of this one i will explain what is gt this is greater than symbol greater than if n1 is greater than dollar n2 dollar means the value of variable will be substituted the value of variable will be substituted then you print a message echo dollar within double quotes dollar n1 is bigger else echo dollar n2 is bigger so as a terminator just you give fi fi is a terminator so this is a program which is going to read two numbers from keyboard and after reading two numbers it will decide which one is the biggest value so for that i have written this script see after uh, square bracket i have given what some a space dollar n1 is gt gt means this is exactly same as what like this if this is exactly greater than exactly greater than. so in the place of greater than in uh, linux operating system in we, we use gt symbol gt stands for greater than greater than n2 then echo means then then first number becomes bigger so dollar n1 means uh, within double quotes i have given dollar n1 so you, when you want to display something means in the double quotes use uh, use double quotes as well as dollar sign so when you specify dollar sign in front of a variable name then what happens here the content the value of the variable is printed means dollar n1 means n1 value is printed so if n1 is greater than n2 echo n1 is bigger else n2 is bigger so as a terminator i have given what fi just you save it and come out to come out from va editor go to last line mode say wq write and quit and execute this program how do you execute this program sh big2 dot sh this is a process of executing execution of the shell program so it is asking first number suppose first number is 56 second number is 78 some error is occurred just i will solve this error <coughs> so just you look at this program enter first number 67 second number is 89 89 is the biggest value so just i will open the code just you have a look vi big2 dot sh okay first i am displaying a message echo enter first number second number first number that is first number enter first number the first number is stored in n1 and the second number is stored in n2 and next so we are trying checking the condition so if after if condition give a space okay this is very case sensitive and very careful while writing shell applications because each and every space is space will be considered after if condition give a space and square bracket and give a space dollar n1 means 
n1 value n1 value is greater than n2 then echo dollar n1 so within double quotes i am printing a message to print the message as it is put the message in double quotes in the double quotes and again you specify dollar n1 means the value of n1 is substituted so if it is not possible come to second condition second what is the second condition if dollar n2 means after l if i have given one more space okay after one more space give a square bracket and after square bracket again give n2 if dollar n2 is gt greater than dollar n1 which is the biggest value dollar n2 is the biggest value or bigger so if uh, suppose first number is the same as second number uh, 46 equal to uh, 46 then such case what happens here no comparison message will be displayed okay just i will give this one just to have a look once again i will exclude this to execute this sh big 2 dot sh 67 78 78 is a bigger once again i will execute this 67 67 so no comparison among no comparison okay this is third part execution <coughs> Sixty-seven, ninety-eight. Ninety-eight is bigger. So now I will discuss operators. <coughs> <coughs> 